Hey guys, it's here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Season 11 content, and it is going better. We're actually having quite a good performances, and we're playing well just by that little mental shift of let's try hard. So you, you'll probably see me focusing a little bit more, leaning forward a little bit more than I were at the beginning of the season. Uh, bringing up the Orlando Madu, you guys can look through it if you want to. We have a, a roaming Katarina, unsurprisingly. Again, the general Katarina completely ignores lane and they just roam. Get a double kill in bot lane, return to mid, get a kill in mid. Uh, but we've got a pretty bad Jace, pretty bad Nidalee, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, the Katarina does get fed on average, so we'll see how my team copes. Now, you might be like, you know, can I follow her? Yes, Fizz can follow a cat in roams, but if she is literally, like... Some Katarinas, I'm not even kidding, don't farm. They're like, I'm just, see ya, I'm going to bot lane, bye. And I'm just going to stay bot lane now. And it's like, what? You can't really do much against that. Because um, that's kind of taking the whatnot. But we'll see how it goes. So if Jace doesn't get ahead of the early game, Jax will snowball. I like Vi into their comp because it can lock down a Katarina quite easily. Vi literally could just be like, I'm using every single ultimate on Katarina this game. Um, and that would be quite effective. I, as a Fizz, should be able to do quite well versus a cat. But we'll also see if I get camped or anything. Because that is also an option. Um, yeah, we're playing mid. Uh, obviously been jungling a bit more recently. A little bit of support as well. But I still want to play mid here or there. Um, I think it's, you know, it's me as a player. I get bored pretty damn easily, unsurprisingly. Um, so varying up what I do, for me, is needed. Oh yeah, isn't the broken AD build back in the game? That everybody was like, what the hell is Riot doing? And it, I will say, it is very weird. Um, Riot have made so many contradictions about balance. They said, we're bringing back AD Katarina because we want to give gameplay options. And there have been several champions that Riot went removing an AP build option for this champion because we don't think it's healthy. And it's like, wait, what? You removed the AP build for that champion? Or you remove the AD. Like, there's been so many instances of like that type of thing. It's bizarre. Like, at least if you want to do that, be consistent. It's one thing that Riot have not been so far this year. Is consistent. So we're going to be quite a bit ahead of farm. Two, two minions. Three minions. You missed that one. Cool. Not expecting my bot lane to do well early, by the way. Janna, uh, sorry, Rel defensive. Chase already flashed. Nice. Was she a cat one trick? Well, I guess... Well, it's weird because Cat used to be a one trick champion, but because she kind of became broken, she kind of stopped being a one trick champion. That hit me, apparently. Okay. That's a kill on Jace because he doesn't have flash. Nice. Again, I did say if Jax gets ahead, we win the game. They really don't have anything that deals with the Jax mid to late game. Uh, the problem that we've got here is if there's a big fight for that scuttle, uh, I'm pushed in with so many more minions. Oh, my. Hmm. Not too bad. Both mid laners get a kill. She's a cat main, and by the looks of it, not a one trick. Okay.
I think we got both scuttles. That's pretty good. One jump ahead of you. Okay. Um, so she's rushing Nashers. Okay. I guess if you rush Nashers, you're not technically committing to AP or AD, right? You could do either at that point, I think. Want to play jungle last game? Uh, if I get promoted after this game, if we win this game and get promoted, I think I'm done for the day. Might play some Warzone after this. Try to get a win. It would be nice. That would be a really good dragon, actually. I've been winning, actually, a lot more in Warzone recently. Oh, how's he coming? Uh, because again, I've, I've I've been playing the game a little bit slower pace because usually I run in guns blazing, get 15 kills, but don't win the actual game. If you play a bit slower, it turns out you actually win quite a lot easier. Funny that. I'm shocked. At least bot lane's farming well. Honestly, being even farm with a Caitlyn is not bad for a vein. That's pretty actually good going. I just noticed this whole time I've not had any music on and no one said... Oh, my bad. Can I turn that off when I'm listening to my own music when I do my TFT warm-up game? But yeah. Oops. Java Zava. How's it going, dude? 23 months resubby. Long term. Nearly the two-year club. I think my bot lane should be careful of a gank right now. I don't know if this is good for me, by the way, having a relatively free lane phase, or should I actually be actively looking to kill the cat? Like, I don't know. I don't even know if I can kill the cat arena. Okay, I can kill the cat arena. Yeah, I can kill her. I'm dead. Ooh, stop. She's tanky. An enemy has been slain. Bot lane both died, by the way. I don't. Did they die to a gank? Presume they did. Skin's cool. I quite like it. Again, Fizz has got quite a lot of skins, so there's quite a lot to choose from. Oh, could be a cat was quite tanky there. I thought she'd actually take way more damage. Happy I decided to back out though. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think she still had flash up. She used ignite, but I think she still had flash. So if I committed to that, I think she would have just got away. And maybe she would have died, but I think I definitely also would have died, and I don't want to trade. Don't like trading with a Katarina, because that champion is just Snowball McGee. How's he getting? Want to get this pushing. That will hopefully stop the Katarina roaming. Like, 100% she's roaming right now. On Porofessor, it, it had roaming in her profile. There she is! If they get killed here, I'd be actually a little bit salty. I mean, one of them died, but Vayne got a kill. Still don't love that Karina's got getting a free kill there. Okay. Thank you. 
I guess. Don't know why a, a relatively weak Nidley is deciding to fight a Fizz who's got a pretty free early game. If that tornado hit. Oh, this Janna positioning was really bad. My bot lane is having a bad game, which, well, it's Janna. She's 0 3. Which is pretty poop. And then the, my bot lane, guess what? Is blaming the jungler. Never would have surprised that. Oh my god, a bot lane blaming the jungler? Whoa. I'm shocked. So shocked, many wow. What are you doing? I altered the wrong thing. Wait, where's Vayne? Was Vayne AFK in bot lane? Oh. Vayne, oh wow. Well. Again, I hate players like that. And we, we get them quite often. Like they, they do pretty bad themselves, blame others, and then don't do anything to help themselves. The old great League of Legends player. Fantastic. Uh, blue. I'm going to try and get that dragon, though. Damn, Katarina's 4 and 1. She doesn't even seem that good, and she's 4 and 1. Ugh, that's the thing with Katarina. They randomly end up fed when they're not even that good. It's really common. But yeah, this is. I made this point earlier, by the way, in the game. If Jax gets fed, they have nothing to deal with the Jax. They don't have a tank killer, bruiser killer. Jax is a beast himself that can deal damage and they're all really squishy. And Jax is a tank killer because he can go balk. Like, the enemy team are in trouble because they've not dealt with the Jax. That's good. That's pretty good. We have Jax TP for this as too. So, yeah, I think this is good. Top lane difference is huge. We should bring this out. Dude, my damage is nuts already. Alright, Infernal Dragon, four kills. Yep, we'll take that. Honestly, the uh, Katarina ultimate lasted too long. Like, no one focused stopping it. I didn't, Did anybody know where my ultimate went, by the way? Anybody do, like, a quick, like, glance? I used it. No idea what happened to it. It might have went off. It might have been on... It did hit Rel. Okay, it just didn't look like anything happened. Weird. Oh, we're pretty fed. Um, that was ambitious. the hell was that, dude? The hell? The rail? Ha-ha! Oh, she had flash! No! These bad players! I would have been fine! It was literally a millisecond! Okay, I was playing really greedy. Damn it, dude. I should have got that kill. Oh, I would have lived if Nidley didn't have flash there. Or if Caitlyn didn't ult me. There's a few things there that I should have lived. Yeah, it was a 1v3. 
Also, I had like 1,800 gold on me, so arguably it was bad that I actually took the fight in the first place. So that's my mistake. But man, if no Caitlyn ult, I would have lived. If no Nidley Flash, I would have lived. Like either or. If Nidley flashed on me, but they didn't have Caitlyn ult, I would have lived. If Caitlyn ulted me, but Nidley didn't have Flash, I also would have lived. All of it happened, though. Sag. Karen is 100% going top. She has to be, right? Oh, there's four people top lane. Oh, God. Ah. So many people mid. The enemy team just don't know what to do. The Karina is confused because she's like a roam heavy player. I think she's a bit lost of like, oh wait, I can't roam because the Fizz has got constant pressure. Mwah, ah, ah. Ow. Buddy. Let's just walk out of here. There's four people. Was this Fizz skin? Little Devil? Something like that? I think it's his latest skin. Uh oh. And at that moment, he knew. He mucked up. Ha ha ha! I lived! <laughs> I mucked up really badly there using my E and Q to farm. Good survival though. And honestly, they might... There, yeah, they're getting caught. So my survival made... Well, again, not directly. Indirectly got the Katarina killed. Because they went all in for me and then my team got them. Or got the cat. So that's that's good. That's pretty good. This is the tale of Captain Jack Sparrow. Pirates away to seven seas. Mystical quest to the Isle of Tortuga. What's the coolest exercise to do? I love deadlift. Deadlift is my favorite. I'll be doing deadlift tomorrow. Closing into that 200 kilogram deadlift. Uh, I'm in, I don't think it's this week I'm going for the 400 pound deadlift. It might be next week. But I hit 170 kilo deadlift last week and it didn't really look like anything. So that's cool. It's getting there. It's definitely getting there. So predictable, Katarina. Yeah, no, my strength is getting there quite a lot. I'm very happy with it. Like, I watched a, um, a Huzzy Car vlog, which I don't do anymore, obviously, because there's not really much to vlog. But the tail end of last year, like September, I was deadlifting just 100 kilo, and I'm now deadlifting 170, and it quite easily. I could be doing more. Um, so that makes me feel really good. My deadlift is coming along crazy amounts. Why Night Harvester not Ludens? Why would you ever want Ludens? Eh? Your team has destroyed a turret. Yeah, 200, uh, 200 kilogram is 440 pounds. Uh, but I'll be hitting 400 pound deadlift probably next week. I'm attempting it. Uh, which is, what, 181 kilogram? Do I think I could do the 200 tomorrow? I mean, maybe, but I think it would absolutely kill me. And I'm not looking to do that. I'm looking to train, continue getting stronger. <laughs> We're doing it the right way. So one, I do deadlift with my trainer every week. Week A, we do um, doubles or where we do a single for like, and not a max, but we do a single for near max. And then we're generally doing doubles at heavyweight. And then week B, we do triples for heavyweight. 
And basically alternating it, it just kind of builds your deadlift up really fast. And we do banded deadlifts, uh, wide grip deadlift. All of that stuff just kind of is improving it at a very, very rapid rate. So it's getting there. Hmm. Don't really want to fight when we are uh, Vayne is back. Uh, we have Huzzy Flex as an emote here on Twitch, but it's a tier 3 emote because pe like tier 3s can flex on non-tier 3s. <laughs> but yeah, we don't have too many tier 3 subs, obviously. This is bad. That wasn't a great fight. We're fighting again without Vayne. We, we, I am cursed with having AD carries that just don't group. <laughs> this cat. What am I training for? I, I might be competing in powerlifting eventually. I'm, right now I'm just training for health. Fitness and health. But um, eventually I might get into competing in powerlifting. I've got quite a good frame for it because I'm quite wide, but also quite vertically challenged. So it's quite a good combo for powerlifting. Uh, Jeepers, thank you much, dude, for 43 months, you pleb. Appreciate it, bud. I go kill Jace. It's a relatively free kill. No fear. How tall am I? I'm five for eight. <laughs> my my trainer's a strong man, and he thinks I could probably still do strong man stuff, but mm, I don't know. I'm still kind of deciding. If I do want to, well, I'm, firstly I'm deciding if I actually want to compete or not in the first place. And then if I do want to compete, what am I specializing in? Powerlifting or strongman? I don't know. But I'll definitely make content about it if, if I end up doing it, by the way. No sumo deadlift? No. God, no. Normal deadlift. That rel is ambitious. This poor Katarina just can't do anything in these fights. That's the thing with Cat, man. Like, when the champion was actually broken and did, like, 3,000 damage true instantly with blah, it was stupid. But now that the champion, I would say, well, I still think the AD build is dumb. This one isn't doing the AD build. Um, it's, it's obviously not as bad as what it was. So that's good, at least. Damn, me and Jax took them out like a hit squad. <laughs> so I'll go for this one, you go for that one. Bam! <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, I hate carrying as a champion. I'm sorry I do. Wait, oh, they did Baron. I mean, yes, me and Jax could have got the inhib. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. We did. Mm. Yeah, I, I know. Full disclosure. If I was over there doing Baron and I saw my t my two teammates easily could have got the inhib and greeted, or oh, I would have been salty. I hold my hands up and I admit that. <laughs> like hundred percent, I'd admit that. Like, why didn't they just get the inhib? Hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> Again, somehow still this carry has got nine kills, which is a bit crazy, but still. But yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Um, or as well as you can be doing. Again, still feeling absolutely fantastic of not being on the medication. I literally wake up, I'm not even kidding, and I'm like, I've got energy! Where before, maybe for the past year, and I'm not over-exaggerating here, 
I, when I used to wake up, it would take me at least an hour to even want to move a muscle. Of being like, I'm awake right now, but I don't want to do anything. About an hour-ish. And if I did, I was dead for the rest of the day. It was that simple. If I did force myself to do something, I was dead. Huzzy dead. Huzzy F. No fear. So it's so much more refreshing that I'm like, I can get up and be a human being and don't feel absolutely garbage for the rest of the day. It's great. Hello! You are dead. There we go! And that is the last game of Ranked for today. And you know what that means, everybody? Do you know what that means? So, the last few days, you know, we, we let's be honest, in content, we've been struggling weirdly in Platinum 2. We were in Diamond Promo. We then lost that Diamond Promo and then went all the way back to Di uh, Platinum 2. We've been here now for nearing what feels like a month. The last few days, I'm like, right, I'm going to concentrate more. I'm going to sit forward. I'm going to, you know, pay attention a bit more in the games. And bingo, bango, straight away, pretty much, we're back in Platinum 1. So that, that does show that this mindset difference is important. So that's really good. Oh, I got recognized by the cat. Oh, GG. Uh, we got 938, 130 farm, promoters of Platinum 1, and damage-wise dealing. Ooh, I didn't do the most. Really? Can Vayne beat me? Okay, Katarina beat me by a bit, and I'm surprised Vayne beat me, but okay, I'm a bit salty about that. But overall, really good game. Um, you know, the 1v1 against Cat went pretty well, question mark. Um, and yeah, we did some okay things. We did some greedy things, but we did some okay things. And obviously, I will say, I'm going to be salty about Katarina. Like, that champion for me is a little bit annoying. Um... But yeah, GG's. Really happy we're already back in Platinum 1. It is starting to feel like it's clicking into place. Like, hopefully, like, well, it's it feels like it's clicking into place of what I wanted the beginning of the season to feel like. But obviously, didn't feel like that. But yeah, anyway, that's going to be it. We're back in Platinum 1. We are done with Ranked for the Today. Let's leave it on a massive high. I have over 600 live viewers right now, so I kind of don't want to stop. But I'm going to because it's always good to you know, leave things on a good note and then you're happy the rest of the day and you can kind of use that energy moving forward. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, like it, comment, subscribe. If we can hit, I don't know, for just getting promoted and having positivity and being happy, let's try to hit 500 likes on the video maybe. That would be great. But yeah, like it, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.